can tell, I'm in a slightly different setting today. Welcome to my room. Today, I wanted to bring you a closet tour and organization video. I am about to purge my closet, but before I did that, I wanted to show you how I've managed to store this much stuff. And honestly, a storage professional is just a hoarder in disguise. Uh, but that's my life. I'm gonna show you what's in these drawers, and I have two closets. I have this closet. I have a shoe case, which is more decorational, and then I have a shoe closet. Yeah, I wasn't kidding when I said professional storage people are actually hoarders in disguise. So let me start by showing you kind of how I organize these things and maybe give you some tips and tricks. Here are my friends Dylan and Haley and they're gonna help me with this because my arms are really tired and I don't lift heavy things. I lift them and put them down and pick them up and put them down and I don't get any stronger. Okay. okay. <laughs> so this is the closet. It consists of one door which has kind of summery things, the other door which has more wintry things, and then I have this built-in shelf and a kind of a normal hanger. And then this down here is actually a hanger thing that you guys can purchase on their own. They're only about $15, so they're really inexpensive. Don't we all have that one pile of clothing that we just wear so often that it does not make sense to fold or even hang up? That's what this is. This down here is a lot of band t-shirts and a lot of memorabilia, and this lower shelf is pretty much stuff that I do not use all that often, which is why it's at the bottom, because I don't care none. The way that I like to organize them is by sleeve length. Some people organize things for winter, summer, but for me, sometimes I have a cardigan that I could wear on summer nights that I would also layer in the winter. On this side is where I start by things that are sheer or tube tops. These are sleeveless items or crocheted tops that I can just reach for. Tube tops and basic tank tops. And if you notice that within each category of sleeveless tank tops, almost short sleeves, but like not sleeves, short sleeves, slightly quarter length sleeves. These are all organized in rainbow order. <laughs> um, just so that way when I know what shirt I'm looking for, I know that it'll be with the reds and after the reds comes the greens, the blues, the purples, etc. Here is where we have t-shirts. Once we get into that, we get into our quarter sleeves and some of our long sleeve shirts. These button ups you probably should fold. I'm a bad girl for not folding them. We get into kind of the borderline sweaters. As these transition over to sweaters and turtlenecks, we get to our pullovers. Oh, I had a kitty shirt. I don't know where my kitty shirt went. I have a shirt that has a cow on it, it's really cute. YouTube represent. But this little line is kind of where it divides the short sleeve kind of tops to the actual layering and more weather wear pieces get into some kind of fun cardigans, some sweaters, some denim, some camo. This is actually one of my favorites. This is from a store online, it's got studs. You gotta represent your inner rocker chick. This is some faux leather, some perforated jackets. Get into more cardigans and knitted sweaters. And the reasons that I keep those separate is because I tend to wear them at different times. And the more you know about how you style your outfits, the easier it will be to style your closet. So when you're thinking about how you want to organize it, organize it to what is convenient for you. For instance, if you wear your things by season or by weather, that's how you should do it. For me, because I'm constantly grabbing different pieces or I'm traveling, this makes it really easy to find what I'm looking for because I know what's in my closet. Here's a kitty cardigan, and then we start to get into more blazer items. These are professional, business-oriented layering pieces that I really just would not wear on their own. When it comes to your pieces, you should know that you have 10 to 20 staples. For instance, a black blazer, a little black dress, a plain white t-shirt and you should really kind of use those to base your closet around and then fill in everything that goes with them. In the very back here, these are a lot of jackets, a lot of faux fur. This is from Guess. It was really inexpensive because it is faux fur, but it makes me look like a pimp daddy. What do you call that? A Mac daddy? A pimp daddy? I don't even know what the terminology is. But then on the top here is where I store handbags and purses. Now this was a built-in shelf, and if you don't have one of these, you can actually get clips and hang clips from the ceiling that you can then loop your bags into. For me, these are really in no particular order. These are really just kind of how I grab for them. I tend to wear this bag and this cute little clutch a lot more with my business things, which is why I kind of have them above. In the very back there, I have a kitty cat backpack and some handbags that I don't really wear all that often. So then some of these are clutches that are mixed in with regular handbags. A lot of these are quite a few years old, which is something that I do kind of have to go through and renew and refresh. Um, just because some of these I really don't wear anymore. 
um, for different reasons. But clutches, bags, a lot of these are more summer bags, so I wear them with more of my short sleeves or summer clothes. And then in this very last corner is where I have things such as sunglass cases and little handheld clutches or I don't know, however you would want to describe these sort of items. Ugh, the struggle. This is actually a belt rack. These belt racks are really inexpensive and they just have these hooks that are actually removable and you can put bandanas, you can put scarves, flags, belts, whatever you need to on there. If you don't have a belt rack, putting your belts on a hanger is a really great way to organize them. So then on this side, this is the summer door. And as you can see, these are actually little clips that I got from Target. So these little grips are actually command grips and I'll show you what they do. They hang like this and they actually don't destroy your door if you want to remove them. So if you're looking for a temporary storage solution, this is great. You just pull down and they come off without any damage. I have some bikinis, some hats, um, some triangle swimwear, and then at the bottom is where I keep one pieces and kind of sarongs. On the opposite side is winter things. And again, these are just those little command hooks that you can hang and unhang. And so I hang all of my scarves here. And I have to be honest, they used to be in meticulous OCD order. They are no longer. If you lift these up, there is a second layer so that you can also hang things if you're short on space, if you're a hoarder. Yeah. Up here at the top is where you have things that go on the top of your body during the winter, such as hats and gloves and even some umbrellas. So we got our kitty cat fuzzy earmuffs to, you know, represent the inner crazy cat lady. Um, we got some bling, miscellaneous cat earmuffs if those weren't enough. I mean, we got some kitty cat faux fur gloves. Go hard or go home, I'm, I'm pimping here. <laughs> So this over here is something that I actually grabbed from Claire's and this is where I just kind of store jewelry. Again, necklaces, bracelets, statement necklaces I use to take up two or three little hangers. And then little studs I just put in here. These top drawers are where I keep jewelry and then this drawer is where I keep underwear and things of that nature. So first off, this is where I keep my dirty laundry. <laughs> um, you know, we all have that pile of dirty laundry that we don't know what to do with, so I just shove it under here. Literally, that's what we got going on. I am very OCD. Very OCD. I'm a very messy person, but a very OCD person, and if things go in this drawer, they must be folded meticulously. I have them folded depending on if they are briefs or what kind of type they are. Also, I no longer wear bras, but I used to wear a lot of bras, and again, very OCD. Uh, I don't wear them anymore because they're uncomfortable, um, but I usually wear what's in this drawer, which is pasties. And I'm actually like all out of pasties because I've worn them all and I keep them in my purse. If you saw my 11 things you don't know about me, you know that I keep pasties in my wallet. These are just some kind of body shapewear things, some tights. I do have fishnets or polka dots or other kind of things in here. Here's more pasties. Yay, pasties! <laughs> Over here I actually have some corsets from probably five years ago. Yeah. In these top drawers I keep bracelets, sunglasses, hair accessories, and rings. So over here I store them by type. I have cuffs at the bottom, kind of more delicate pieces in the middle. These are ones that are not fully closed and watches in this corner. Again, knowing what you own allows you to kind of stack things like this so that they are organized. This right here is sunglasses and hair accessories and I honestly don't wear hair accessories as much as I should. I used to treat this as a wallet. Now it just has like my septum rings in it. These are different sunglasses and I keep them inside of their cases because it keeps them protected, etc. These are actually really fun. Now I know that some people have sunglass displays or cases. Honestly, all of mine do tend to just fit inside of this little drawer. And if you have a space that already works for that, why spend money and time and effort to buy storage solutions that you don't actually need? This last drawer is where I keep rings. This little row is all animals. This little row is more crystals. Um, some of these over here are just a little bit more geometric or fun. Here I actually have like travel or sentimental rings from Greece, from Peru, from, you know, places that I've been. Inside of here is where I keep some septum rings and some more industrial jewelry. So the second closet. Here's Haley. Uh oh, hey Haley. <laughs> This right here is my shoe cabinet, and this is more of a display thing. I collect shoes that I think are beautiful, unique, or interesting, or that just inspire me. For me, this is like my form of collecting art. We 
I'm not going to go through all of them. If you want a shoe tour or collection, let me know. But these are the ones that I really display. And then down here are the ones that I wear a bit more often when I feel like smashing my feet into the smallest possible position that they will fit into. This is my second closet and this is where I keep bottoms. If you saw the first closet was tops and everything from the waist up, here is from the waist down. So we start off with this rack of shoes and I actually have a story to tell you about this. Do you see how this is kind of destroyed? And do you see how there's a large hole in the back here? Well, your bestie Cassandra decided to try to take on this project on her own and didn't know how to use a drill and ended up just smashing in the door. So when all else fails, either learn how to use a drill properly or recruit help. But these things that I'm using to store the shoes are actually curtain hangers. So these are what you hang above a window and ring a curtain across. They're four or five bucks and you can literally hook them on and off. And then you just take your shoe and you hook it on and you're good to go. Look at all that storage. The way that I've organized this is nudes at the top, a little bit of animal print, a lot of blacks, and kind of the basic shoes. On this side is where we get to color. So at the top I have reds and a little bit of grays, go into oranges and greens, go into blues and purples, and then these are more golds, um, and again, just a couple of staple shoes. Because I have all of my pants hanging, I didn't have room to create a double rod like I did in the other closet. So this leaves the perfect space to put shoes, to put boots, or things that are a little bit taller. So these are just the basic shoes that aren't going to allow you to hang them up on the wall. And then up here is where I hang pants and dresses. So on this side, I have basically workout clothes, some amazing workout pants from Fabletics, just kind of those things that I run through and I use quite often. Some sweatpants, some shirts, and some shorts. Over here is where we get into shorts and skirts. We've got some denim, and again, it's organized by length. They start short and get longer, and then it's organized by color. White, red, orange, yellow, blue, blue, brown. These are some longer skirts that go down to the knee, and then these are work pants, your basic trousers or things that go down to the ankle. This is where we get into bohemian pants and then rompers. I kind of see rompers as the transition between pants and dresses. So that's where I store those. And we start getting into maxi dresses and then we start getting shorter. These are more of your kind of casual everyday dresses, some of your sleeveless dresses. This is an eggplant dress. Eggplants. My life is complete. The way that I actually organize my dresses is by function. So I start out on this side, again in rainbow order, with really casual dresses, and then I get into some that are a little bit more business professional. So these are ones that I would wear to meetings or to events, where I do need to be a little bit more put together and can't necessarily wear something sleeveless, to things that are very formal. So for instance, your little black dress, your fancy red dresses, and party dresses, such as glitter, something a little bit more sexy, sequins, anything that has lace in it or that could be seen as sheer or see-through. And then in the very back is where I have my formal dresses, and I'll actually share these with you. This is my all-time favorite dress in the entire world. It's 100% lace, it's like my baby. And then this one, I am actually a maid of honor for my friend's wedding, and my maid of honor dress is black. So yeah, that's where I keep that. Over here, I don't think a lot of people expect to see this, but these are actually ethnic clothing. I am a huge fan of Indian culture. I've been watching Bollywood movies ever since I was little, and so I started getting a collection of these really beautiful and intricate saris, which are the traditional dress that is found in parts of Asia. So I have a lot of, oh, my hanger broke. And then behind them is where I keep Halloween costumes. I honestly do not go to parties that often. To be completely honest, most if not all of these Halloween costumes have been for makeup tutorials. So those are what hides in the back in the abyss of my closet. This top shelf is similar to the shelf on the other side and this is where I keep pants. I do fold my denim because denim doesn't crease that bad for me. I have pajamas in the far left hand corner that I don't really wear because I like to sleep naked because I'm a creep. These are jeans that I organize by how they fit. These are skinny jeans, these are shorts, these are long jeans, and these are crop jeans. The reason that I have two kind of categories of jeans is because they did not fit stacked on top of each other, and these are the ones that are a little bit tight, and these are the ones that are a little bit loose. So depending on what time of the month it is, I know which pile to pull from. There are also two different piles for skinny jeans. These are the more colorful, so anything that's colorful or decorated, and then these are your basics, your blacks, your blues, your dark colors. Here are shorts. This is just a random pair of sweatpants. These are just some random workout gear things. 
<sighs> and that is how I managed to be a hoarder. So guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this closet tour. I hope that if you are limited on space or if you are looking to expand your storage options that this gives you some techniques. Um, like I said, $4, go buy yourself a freaking curtain hanger. That is what's in my closet. And if you guys want to see other videos such as a room tour, decor videos, other things, post a comment, let me know. Also hit subscribe because I post new videos every Monday and every Thursday. And I cannot wait to see you all in the next one. Mwah! And thank you to Dylan for helping me film this because, you know, my arm got real tired. Bye! Bye! <laughs>